It's tog time. So, Bo's here. Hi. We're doing Italians against togs. I mean, British. Tog. We're playing No Retreat as the scenario. We were using the expanded scenario and we just rolled that. British are in defense. Italians are being aggressive. I have a rifle company with three platoons at me, uh, small size, so five rifle teams, uh, a boys, and the two-inch mortar, two four-team machine guns, four-man four platoon machine guns, the HQ, one HQ here, one HQ here, one six-pounder, uh, three-man, uh, three-stand six-pounders in ambush, one four six-pounder stand in ambush, or in reserve. Uh, six pounders in reserve, universe carriers with boys in reserve, and the togs are sadly in reserve. Tog. What do you got rocking here? I have a command car company, the Parachutist Assault Engineer Company. Alright. It looks like you got three platoons. Are they max size or? Yeah, they're max size. Alright, and that gives you what? Flamethrowers and? Yeah, two flamethrowers and six infantry stands. Alright. And then your HQ one is here in the white shirt. Come on. Yep. Right there. And the other one's right there. Yeah. You have the... So I'm in 90s. As your support, or is that wild card? That's the wild card. Okay. Yeah, the L6s are a support. And same with the two 90 mil oh, yeah. party yeah. trucks. He's got party trucks up there, party truck up there. And then and the semi 90s are uh, black box support. Okay, so his formation is the infantry. Everything else pretty much is in support. He's attacker, I'm defender. My pre placed artillery is here. And here for the Vickers. And then for the 25-pounder... And he's got his right there on top of the objective. That's a scrub land, and since you don't have to make a cross check, I've put three minefields there, and then one more over here. And apparently, I need to get more Canadian tokens, because, well, these are British Canadian ish. Anyway, you're up. Turn one. Yep. Turn one. Your objective is to take the either objective here or here at any time. Right? Winning the game. Oh, wow. I could do it at any time. Yes. I have to win. I have to hold you off by turn six. So, oh. again, it's the standard It's the standard thing of four inches for you, eight inches for me. Okay. The Team Yankee expanded chart calls it repelling. I don't know why the Flames of War one doesn't. But overview of the board. Kind of clear on this side. A little dense on this side. But it's all infantry, so it doesn't really matter. And his party truck is in range of my... 25-pounders. 25 25-pounders. 25 but you need sevens to hit them. Yeah. Yeah. Not very many are going to hit. Because of range. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you need... Yeah. All right. So what do you do for your... Uh, we'll go to movement for the the noodle shooters. Pasta shooters. That's it. Pasta yeah. shooters. The spicy meatballs. Spicy meatballs. Those guys are lob lobbing spicy meatballs. These guys are just large meatballs. And same with those guys. All right, moving. All right, lots of cro cross country dashing. They move up their 10. They moved up 18? Yep, they moved 18. 12, 12. They didn't cross country dash because, you know, that's kind of clear line open fire. The only machine gunner who has line of sight, that guy there at the vent, is out of range of him. So I can't, artil I can't shoot him there in response. I could artillery if they survive. Party trucks. What are those actually called? 90 mil on Lancia. Okay. So, well, we're still going to call them party trucks. Yep. So the party trucks are getting ready to party. The Semo Ventes are going to try to range in. For the Billions dice, right? I think it's, that's what they're called, the Billions dice. Yeah. You rolled for the party trucks. You got it for the party trucks and the L6s, correct? Yep. Okay. Yeah. The, the one I wanted it for these guys, I didn't, didn't get it. Yeah, I know, because now he needs a range in. So we'll start with the shooting. Aha, I did not even plan that. So, are to range in? Yep. Okay, first attempt. Oh, got it on the second attempt. Oh, sweet. Okay. Because short, he's skill four over short terrain. Okay. Uh, uh, you're hitting so, three teams? So, I have uh, five, so don't I re-roll misses? Oh, yeah. I almost never play with, like, less. It's either four or six. Uh, the template actually says, if you get the Flames of War template. The more recent one, anyway. Uh, five or more. Yep, you re-roll your misses. So I'm hit on fours. Okay. But because you're ranging on the second attempt, you hit on fives. Okay. 
Alright, well, I'll just roll two dice then. Uh, you hit three guys. Yeah, these three. Oh, yeah, you're rolling two at a time. So, yeah. first guy. Hit. Okay. Second guy. Hit. And third guy. Okay, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, nope, these are not brutal, right? Yeah, they're not brutal. The artillery's not brutal? Nope. Okay. Yeah, all, all it is is, yeah, four or five. I'm just going to roll the dice and as they lie. So, three up saves. I'm good. But I'm pinned. So, if I don't unpin, I don't get artillery. So, watch out. Next shooting. Right. Party trucks. Right. Um, I believe I need sevens to hit the 25 pounders. Yep. He's firing from here. I am within 40 inches. Yeah. Right. But I am fours, concealed, gone to ground, over, over 16 inches. So, sevens. Right. So I got two shots. So you need a six on one of them. Okay, now the reroll the six, you're looking four or five. No. That was pretty close though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Right, right, then this guy, I guess. I, I mean his only shots are at the machine gunners. Mm. And it's a it's a what nine is that a ninety centim uh ninety centim or nine centimeter? Ninety mil. Ninety mil, yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll fire at your I'm guessing this is your HQ. Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll fire directly at your HQ. Okay, need sevens. Oh, right. <laughs> if I added them up, I would have it. Okay. That's it for you shooting? Yep, that's all my shooting. All right, do I unpin? On the Vickers. My HQ says do better. <laughs> my H okay, so good for you. I have no artillery there. I can fire my machine guns, but, I mean, it's not going to be great. Now, do I pop my ambush? Yet. I'm scared of these guys. I'm kind of scared of these guys. We're going to wait. We're going to roll my reserves because I have immediate deep reserves. I get a reserve. I'm disappointed. I should have popped my ambush. All right. Guess who's coming on the table? It's Togs. Tog time. Tog time. Tog time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to figure out where I'm moving them and then I'll figure out where they're going. And then movement and all that said. Jazz. Tog's moved up from this edge of the board because they came in on reserve. Oh, get rid of the power cable out of the screen. They move up. They're going to pop shots at the Simo Ventes. It'll be long range shots. Bad news for him because those are 17 pounders. But these guys have been notoriously bad at aiming. Probably because they didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> My Vickers, this Vickers team is going to try to artillery. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six stands out of this platoon. And then the 25 pounders don't like getting shot at, so they're going to try to artillery them. So, because they're out of range for my normal shots, and it's an arm, a vehicle save anyway, so. The 25 pounders first. Red, yep, they range in on their first attempt, which is good because the other two were fails. Because I'm a skill. Well, because it's. Right. My skill is. Three, but it's going over tall terrain. You'd think the truck sitting on the hill would be easier to spot with artillery. Yeah. But no. So I range in on the first attempt there. And then ranging in there and in avoiding terrain with my Vickers. And my Vickers have a skill of four. Uh, red, white. They get it on the second attempt. Red, white, and blue. So we'll do the first shots against that guy. Needing a four? Yep, yep, those guys are four. A hit. Okay. And my save is four plus. All right. See, so party truck dies. Oh, he's fine. Here, uh, he's pinned. Ha ha, he's pinned. Yep, yep, he's, he's pinned. pinned. That, I mean, I'm surprised he survived that. <laughs> if this was yeah, War Thunder. I thought he was going to die. If that was War Thunder, he'd be dead. Because, you know, we all know in War Thunder, open top tanks just died to artillery. You're like, nothing. Yep. <laughs> Uh, oh, right. uh, how, which one's the flamethrowers? These these guys in the back? Uh, yeah, yeah, those two in the back. Okay, so one, two, three, four rifle teams hitting on fives, right? Because you're hit on fours. Yeah. He doesn't roll. He did not roll billions of dice because the engineers are good. So miss the rifle teams. And the two flamethrowers. I hit both flamethrowers. <laughs> so you're at least pinned. But you make them both. So, I pinned you at least. Yeah. But your HQ's right there, not that it matters. Yeah. 
I don't know. I've uh, had trouble spinning with the. I don't know. You made your fives earlier. Yeah. Three shots at max range. So I need fives, right? Because you're fours normally? No, uh, those are the only aggressive guys I have. They're hit on threes. Okay. Yeah. So I hit. Am I, I'm not slow firing. I'm just one shot each. So I hit you on fours because of range. I hit one. Straight to firepower. Yep. He's bailed. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's it's a it's no he. Oh. It's a solid it's a solid shot gun, yeah. right? I'm firing solid. <laughs> I just went straight through. I went straight through. <laughs> the the crew may have defecated themselves with that big of a round going through their tank, but I'm probably gonna pay for that. Oh, is my uh, HQ close enough to tell them to get back in? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think. Like, it, hey, I think you, it's six inches. In. Yep. And then hey, you get back in your damn tank. Yeah. <laughs> You deal with the smell later. You're, you have an open back. Oh, you didn't even put the crew in there. You, no. lazy, you lazy piece of garbage. <laughs> I still, I didn't even do it on my party trucks either. It's just like, All no, right. no. Turn two. Bailout checks. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll, uh, which one do you want to do first? Bailed or bailed? Uh, uh, the the uh, 70 90. You get to re-roll this. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not using they, that dice. <laughs> Uh, then the uh, infantry, they're fine. Okay, well, uh, we'll go back to movement. And yeah, movement. Speed racer here, moving up all four. Not speeding, uh, tactical because he plans on popping shots off at my 25 pounders. Infantry move up. He's got his flamethrowers just in range of that one stand, so he's they're going to be cooked alive. They moved up. We forgot, he's actually pinned down, but we rolled it off camera, and of course he rolls a six. And I think that's all, right? You move them, that... Yep. That's two platoons, right? Yep. Okay. Both platoons. How the heck do you tell them apart? Hey, wait a minute, he's facing the wrong way. He's facing the wrong way, too. Bo! Yep. The rule, the book says your toy soldiers have to face their targets. <laughs> Where do you want to start with your shooting first, then? Artillery? Yeah, I guess artillery. So, re-range in, repeat bombardment. Which I found out in the rules, you don't actually have to see your target to repeat bombardment. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you just act as if you ranged in on the second attempt. Okay, but uh, now they're easier to hit because they're not... Uh... Yep, you hit me on fours because yep. it's automatic. All right, so this dude. Yep. Three and two. Yeah, three and two. And this dude. Yep. Nope. And this dude. Yes, wow. but now I have to reroll my saves. So I make I fail my saves. So firepower. Uh, what is the firepower on that? Four plus. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh. No, nope, but I'm pinned. So I thought they would have had a higher fire uh, firepower with artillery. Yeah. Oh, they have a three with direct. Yeah, yeah. Direct is three. Oh, okay. Oh, well, probably because direct is heat. Uh, well, I mean it's still H. Uh, yeah, I guess that would be. No. Anyway. Where do you want to start next? Uh, the semi vente 90. See if I could kill the tog. Okay, they're kind of, they're out in the open. They're not, I didn't. I had to move them up to be within 36 inches, so they're not right. far enough down the hill. Uh, so yep, yeah, they didn't move. So I got two shots each. Hitting on five. Right, my togs are careful. Yeah, my togs are careful. Uh, that's two hits. Straight to firepower. Okay, so what's the firepower on the 90? Three. Three? Oh, I was expecting Well, mine's, mine's three, too. I just failed horribly. Okay. Well, well, again, the togs continue to prove to be absolutely worthless for me. I like my paint job in my models, though. Like, I think I did a good job. They just always do poorly for me. Poor little togs. You'll have their day someday. No, I won't. I, sh I remember the one game when I shot at, like, a single Simo Vente on the hill with, yeah. for, like, three turns. Yeah we, yeah, we had a game where these guys were standing up against the togs and they couldn't do it. Well, no, it was one guy on the hill who wouldn't run away. All right, now I have to make last stands. Is your HQ close by? Oh, yeah, your HQ's right there. Uh, he's too far away. He's not six inches. Oh. Nope. Even if I put that, even if I didn't take that guy as the dead guy. All right, next up. Uh, so, the... Let's see here, the L6s, they moved. 
So they got one shot each. Okay. And I'm hit on fives because I'm four, I'm concealed, but I fired and he's under 16. Oh, it's not two hits. So I guess the two closest yep. ones. Uh, I have a four up gun safe. I make the. I make that one. So that one firepower. So what is the firepower on L6? Five? Yep, five plus. Come on, five plus. Nope. No. Um, and then the exciting part the flamethrower is against that one stand. Yep. Oof. You do hit me once. Yep. Uh. And it's so I'm automatically pinned. Uh, what's the, anything special about the flamethrower rule? Uh, like it might be on the back of your card. It's auto pinning. I know that much. It's auto firepower. Oh, you re-roll saves. That's what I thought. Yeah. So he's dead because I rolled a four and a one. And then the rest of the unit gets fired at by those three stands that could see him. Yep. Uh, and those are just rifle teams or machine uh, maybe seven machine yeah. gunners yeah yeah so just one shot a piece okay nope nope, nope. but the flamethrowers did something so. what about him uh yeah I, I guess uh okay your party truck still get to shoot yeah I guess uh, he'll shoot at I'm guessing he can't see the tog well it's out of range you remember these guys are just at 40 oh, inches oh yeah okay yeah, so I guess I'll fire at the 25 pounder. Yep. Nope. And then the last party truck will yep. fire. Still need sevens at those guys because they have not fired. Mm. HQ is also sevens. But I can mistake an identity from the HQ. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I'll fire at the one. Okay. So, so he, he's at least getting shot at also. Oh. So now I roll both of those. I hate you so much. Good. <laughs> can't believe you made two sixes in and a five. I hate. What was that? Three sixes. Yeah, I think it was three sixes. sixes. I hate you. All right. So now you're done, right? Uh, yep. That's all my shooting. Does he stick around? Focus. Uh, his last stand is four plus. Yes. Well, maybe I can actually kill some guys this time and not just punch through your tanks. Uh, pin down. HQ should is HQ within six inches? Yeah. Okay. They're good, and then are my machine gunners good? Okay. So my vickers are good, and they're good. So they're unpinned, and they're unpinned. And you did not hit those guys enough to make that. I'm going to pop my ambush, because I now need it with only one tog left. And now my two reserve rolls. No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pop my ambush, and I'll be back after movement. Ambush comes up on the hill. I don't have any more tokens to give them, but they're in foxholes and gone ground, all that shenanigans. And I'm moving my range and marker for my brown Vickers team. The dark uh, tan, I guess. To here. Uh, I guess they could also... Uh, not even, I'm not even going to worry about them for now. So, ranging in with them. Sorry for the viewers who just got sick off that. It's going over terrain. Oh, come on, camera, focus. It's going over terrain, so I'm needing... What's their skill again? Fours. I need fives. Got it on the first attempt. Oh, do you have the template? No, I have the template. I didn't even look at this. Uh, so I'm hitting... Obviously the two flamethrowers. Looks like one, two, three, four, five... One... Two, three, four, five. Hitting five rifle teams, and is that another flamethrower? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's from the other squad too. So okay. Yeah, you'll pin down two squads with that. So both flamethrowers here. Nope. Flamethrower in the back. Nope. And then is this the front squad? Yeah. Oh, because they have the two dots. All right. So five rifle teams. I hit two. And um, as the dice lay, they would have been the front two. Okay, so I'll just do two saves. They're both the same anyway. So. Yep. All right, so we'll save. But they're pinned. Yep. 
six pounders. They're gonna fire into them. I get two shots apiece because they didn't move. Six pound. Yep, two shots. It's over sixteen. So I need. What do you hit on fours? Yep, those are fours. So fives. One hit. That's uh. What's your hand yeah. take? Nine. But your go. Your armor goes up by one because of range. Oh, so it's four. Because it is no ichi. So you go up to your four or five. Yeah. So I need a five to bail out. Uh, five to six. equal. Six does nothing. All right, so that's fire fire. Dead. Kill one. Doesn't matter. Right. And then the one tog, who didn't run away, is going to shoot at... Shoot at the Semoventes, needing fours again. One hit. Dead. And I would try to... Uh, well, I would have put it on the one of the non-bail dog guys. Okay. Would you have tried to mistake an identity to the bail dog guy? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm Something not, I forgot. Sorry, I just sped through that. Might as well give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. Bail that guy is dead. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So you get for not getting back in your tank. <laughs> I don't even know how to place that. Oh, you, you could pull that gun off and then put it on the magnet. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that turret came off. Twenty-five pounders are going to rearrange in onto this guy. As much as I wanted to drop it here, I really want that guy dead. I don't know why I have like no tanks left because can't, he can't miss. But I hit you, or I rolled to hit you. You hit him force, right? Yep. I hit. Now you have to re-roll your saves. Uh, that is four plus. Come on, four plus. Hey. <laughs> You're pinned again. Uh, actually, you know what I will do? I will change the ranged in. Is that guy within 48 inches of my Vickers? Yeah. They're going to try to range in. Ranging in on A5. Red, white, blue. Got it on the third attempt. So hitting you on a six. No. But that's fine. So they are no longer gone to ground. Um, I guess I will shoot with my rifle teams into you. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten shots. Two, four, six, eight... Nine, ten. Hitting you on fives because of cover. Well, I can see them out in the open, so yeah. fours. So I can see from those two into them, those two into them, and then boom. And I'm shooting two number two squad. It looks like. So yeah, it makes sense. Oh, that's a lot of threes. Yeah. All right. All right. So two the important ones: flamethrowers. Not one dies. Yep, I kill one at least. Right. Then uh, normal gun teams. Okay. Wait, make it. Okay. Here. All right, and that's it for my turn. So top of turn three. Uh, pin downs. So these guys here. Uh, so the HQ is right there. Yep. Uh, oh. Makes the first good. attempt, and then that guy. Yep. Uh, your HQ, your other HQ is maybe within six. Oh, is, is he? I don't think he is. He is. Oh, he is. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Last time we did that, we did it without. Well, he, the HQ wasn't in range. Oh. Uh, so he's good, right? Fours should be oh. good enough. What would that be? Scott. Oh, oh, his skill is a three plus. Well, his motivation is three. Okay, then yeah, yeah, it would be his motivation. I, I got the successful. Yeah, it's his motivation unless he has like a better remount, no. or I guess it'd be rally on them, which is weird. Uh, any other pin downs or bailed outs or anything? It would have been the semi vente ninety, but yeah. All right, uh, we'll go to movement because he's got to do some movement now, and yeah. So quick overview: one dead semi vente, one dead L six. One dead flamethrower. That guy still won't die. I'm going to start machine gunning him to death. Hopefully if I don't lose my guys. Not much has changed. I lost one infantry and two togs. Oh, I and I've, oh, I did fire with them. One infantry, two togs. The losing two togs sucks, but they're really the only targets for these things anyway. So, losing my anti-tank to his anti-tank. Oh no, that makes sense. Moving. 
engineer squads are going to engineer. He made, technically he made all of them, but his engineers passed minefields on a 2+, plus, so they're all getting ready to assault, except for potentially the flamethrower team who's going to stand back and clear the minefield. These guys made a blitz move, ran up basically 16 inches. They're still out of line of fire. The machine guns. And I think that's all your movement was just those two platoons, yeah, three my, platoons of infantry. Yeah, oh, these guys ran into the woods to stay out of range of the artillery. So these, yeah. that all three platoons are out of the machine gun artillery range now. So. Yeah, uh, my HQ failed his dig in check. I was oh, yeah. gonna have him just sit there and tell that guy to get back in his truck. Yep. All right. Uh, where do you want to start shooting? I guess the artillery first. Okay. All right. So, so you automatic range in. Yep. Okay. So we'll work, so. we'll work our way from there up. Miss. Uh, hit. Yeah. Hit. And miss. Okay. Well, at least the first two. Go. So first guy makes a save. Second guy makes a save. And hit their pin, though. No. Okay, and then I guess uh, the bloodthirsty L6s. Oh, yep, and he's going to fire into the 25-pounders, right? Yeah. Even though it's... I think it's same odds just because they're further away, but these guys have better firepower. Yeah. And I want to reduce the numbers of the artillery. Yep. Yeah. So hitting on fives because I'm in cover. Uh, you hit all three that you can see. Yeah. Or that are under 16. Yeah. So gun saves. To save. So the one closest to me, this one right here, fails to save. need a 5 plus. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah not very good odds. Alright. And then... Better uh, than shooting them with a gun. Or rifles. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to risk it. So I'm having all the remaining some of anti 90s focus on that one talk. Needing 5s. Oh. Uh, 3. Yeah. Straight to firepower. Oh, look at that. He died. Okay. I guess fake. I guess uh, fake tanks can't beat real tanks, because even though these guys are fake, Italy had how many of these did Italy? They had like 106 of them. I thought they only had like so small of amount, but they did use them. Yeah. So I brought fake stuff, and they just all died. So now the interesting part. So yeah. come on, flamethrower first. I shot, so I'm no longer on the ground. So you're hitting me on fives. Oh, no, ha, ha, I'm not auto pinned. Okay. Well, th this is going to be really bad then. One, two, three shots with rifles. Two uh, hits. Well, at least I get two hits. And uh, where do you want to apply them? I guess the first two. Are you sure you want to put them there, or do you want to force me to? Uh, do you want to put? Uh, I, I, is that an anti-tank team? Yeah. Oh, he's only oh, got yeah, one shot. So just the two rifle stands. Well, yeah. you can also put it back here. Yeah. Put it on those two. I can't mistake an identity because you're too close. Huh. So that way you could still assault me with there. Oh yeah. Because uh, if you kill that guy in the back, I have two less shots. Okay. I do. So, did make your saves? Yes. And yes. Okay. I did, as you asked. Or you told. No. Okay. <laughs> so, then uh, I'm going to assault with uh, the remaining six infantry stands. Okay. So, they move up four. He's a heavy weapon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, he's going to stick, stick back. One. Actually, yeah. He's going to stay in the minefield and clear it. Uh, yep. Yeah, because I think he can come over. And come up. Unless you want to leave him back there as well, because I think only... Oh, might as well have him. Because you can't... You, well, you can't fit him here now. Oh, maybe actually him. Uh, uh, nope. He... Uh, that guy gets in the way. Does it have to be directly behind Oh, I guess no. Yeah, because you can just as, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I get my defensive fire. Yep. So I get two, four, six, eight, nine, ten more shots. So same thing as I did last turn. Hitting you, you're on fours, right? Yep. So I have to hit you for uh, hitting you on fours. So of course I spike my dice. So I pin you down and push, drive you off. Wow, I really spike my dice there. All right, so that's uh, I, I rolled all my dice at once, even though the mortar and the uh, boys have uh, different fire powers. It doesn't matter since they're, he's out in the open. Uh, one hit on each rifle team. Okay. All right. uh, one dice. So I killed roughly that guy based on how the dice landed. And dri being driven off, you only move two inches back or two inches away from me. 
So, uh, up to a minimum of two inches. Do you want to move further back? Um, yeah, I guess. This, uh, if this guy moves back into the minefield, I think you have to make the cross check, uh, the test again. That's a two plus. Sure. sure. Do you want to move a bunch of them into the minefield to try and clear it, just in case? Uh, uh, I guess I'll put two in there and the rest of them will just move back. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so uh, let's see if the two die in there. Oh, hey, what do you know? Oh, jeez. Wow, for, with a two plus and I fail twice there. Well, you're pinned, so they're automatically dead. It's a, it's an auto firepower. Oh. Well, that's un that's a that was unfortunate. I feel I almost I almost feel bad for you, <laughs> but I have dead. Well, the, it's the the flamethrowers that failed because of their auto pin. I have dead togs. I have no pity for you. <laughs> yeah, the auto pinning would have saved you. Yeah. yeah. Although I did spike my dice pretty. Yeah, because it would cut my shots in half. Well, and they're pinned. Yeah. So I guess that's it for the. I wanted to say Germans, but it's Italians. Right. You have any no more shots? Oh, uh, you already artillery there. You shot there. You shot there. You shot there. Did the rest of the rifle guys make their shots? Well, they, they before they came. assaulted. Yeah, yeah, they uh, shot before they assaulted. And okay, they, they all whiffed. Nineties, uh, the party trucks. They haven't shot. Oh, yet. that's right. I guess that should have happened before the assault. My yeah. bad, viewers. We just got excited about assaulting. Yeah. Okay. So I guess. Uh, Into uh, the twenty-five pounders. Yeah, the twenty-five pounders. Okay. Right, so that go over there. Uh, Sixes, I think, because of range. I fired four, range, five, cover, sixes, yep. Yeah, okay. And then this guy, I guess... Uh, sixes uh, into the machine gunners. The lone machine gunner, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Nope. Oh. All right. Uh, so now it's my turn. I don't have any remounts or pin downs to do. Oh, I have one pin down. My skill is I am fearless. Right? I am confident. I am back. I am unpinned. Now my reserves. I get three reserves. It's the top of turn four. As soon as I find the four, I always have a hard time finding the four on the deck. I get one reserve because I failed all three, but I always get one. Uh, I have my universal carriers, my six pounders. I'm going to go to movement, and then uh, I'll figure out where I'm moving my models or putting my reserves in. And just bringing three, my three universal gun carriers with their boys anti-tank rifles. Zoom around the front. Are just going to hide here behind the dead togs and down the hill as kind of a backup for the objective. Other than that, I'm going to move my range and marker from them guy, those guys right here into the woods. Try and pin down those guys. I'm rearranging it on both the trucks because I, I'm mad and I want them dead. So, first up, I will start with the six pounders into your L6s. Needing fives because of range. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, that, that's straight to firepower. And then I spike my dice. Oh, that's right. No, uh, no you you get uh, it's nine against, what's your front armor, three? Yeah, yeah, front armor is three. And then you go up by one because of range. So two on one, two on two, one on one. Right, so that's one closest to you. Oh, uh, one potential blow up. Okay, and go ahead. And All right, then the middle one. Two, two potential uh, two, kills. And then the single one. Okay. So, potential kill. Bailed. Two potential kills. Uh, bailed. Double bailed. And then the last guy is killed. So now you need to make a last stand on the uh, the double bailed guy. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely running. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's a five plus. Oh, nope, just like your Pumas, they stick around. Oh, then that second one's dead. Yep. You realize you give me an anti-aircraft token, right? Instead of a pen down. Oh, mark. I was just looking for the shape. <laughs> I know, I just really, whatever, it's fine. He shot, he fired, he fired his machines at something. Uh, well, we'll get open back up into the platoon out here in the open. Needing fours. I hit two. Put one on the flamethrower and one on a rifle guy. Because that flamethrower is scary. Alright, flamethrower dude. He makes it. Dang rifle it. dude. He, he makes, makes it. it. Dang it. Vickers machine gun into the woods. Red, white, blue. Got it on the third attempt. It is. Well, dude, is that old hit? 
Uh, viewers. Oh, put that over the. Oh, no. Okay. So it hits all of that. So your two flamethrowers on sixes. I hit one. Uh, one, two, three rifle teams. No. So just one flamethrower guy. Except that's enough to pin him. Yep. He's fine. But your HQ at least is there for them. Yeah. Uh, this is not going as well as I'd hoped. Well, I mean, killing them helped. 25 pounders. Dang it. Vickers machine guns. Dang it. They're artillery and your party trucks. <laughs> so, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, I didn't do much this turn. Crap. There's a lot of that going on. Yeah. For how well, long it's okay. going on. Okay, to be fair, I spiked all of my dice against them. But, you know, it's a four plus firepower, so it's not so, no surprise that they serve. All right, so now we'll pin downs and bailed outs. Yeah. So, these guys? Yep. Good. Very good. And then the other guy, which has HQ right next to him. Uh, I think you're a four? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh oh. You don't have to... Oh, uh, they're fearless, three plus. Oh, cool. So I actually did it the first time. All right. <clears throat> and I missed them, and I missed them. Uh, bailed outs. Oh. What's their remounts? Oh, geez. I think it's five plus. Uh, I'm guessing there'll be motivation, so it's four plus. Yep. No, nope. hey, but oh, at least okay, good. Don't you don't have to roll yeah. for last scene. Well, we're going to swap out that anti-aircraft token. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll go to... Uh, I need to check. If he clears the minefield, does he have... Can he not shoot? I don't think you can move, but I think he he might not be able to shoot. And with a 2+, plus, I don't know if you want to give that up. <laughs> like, yeah, you want to give up uh, one flamethrower shot. Yeah. Um, we'll look at that. If he, does, if he does have to give up his shooting, he's probably going to clear the minefield. We'll figure all that out off. Figure all that out off camera. Top of turn five. The Italians are now starting to be aggressive. Second platoon ran through the minefield. Was like, this is fine, no worries. We aren't getting shot at, so we don't just die getting shot at going through the minefield. They crossed over to the side, so now I've got three flamethrowers into them. Platoon number three is running, you know, kind of out in the open, which is unfortunate for them. The Simo Vente 90s did a terrain dash, right? Yeah. Because they really didn't have very good shots regardless and I think that's it oh the HQ train dashed so now yeah both HQs train dash oh yeah yeah or cross country yeah because train dash is like 8 inches alright so where do you want to start with shooting first artillery yeah might as well start with artillery see if this artillery could finally do something <laughs> so hit next guy up nope uh yes actually because I'm hit on force and yeah, all right, so you hit all three. So first guy, ooh, one firepower. Nope, and all right, so the first guy closest towards me is a firepower check to kill. No, nope, but I'm pinned. Should probably keep a pin down marker to my left instead of to my right, because they're probably just gonna remain pinned. Okay. Party, uh, party, yeah, party I, trucks? Yeah, I guess party trucks. So party truck. Against uh, that lone machine gunner. Yep. It hasn't been getting artillery. Nope. Uh, you need sixes. Four, range, a cover. Oh, okay. Hmm. I had another party truck, I guess, into the 25 pounder again. Sixes. Yeah. Nope. That's the opposite of sixes. Uh, and, uh, I guess... The infantry swarm. Yep. Start with the three flamethrowers? Yep, yep, might as well start with the fleet. three flamethrowers. He's just going to roll them all at once. Even though it's two different platoons, he's just going to combine them all. Combine yeah, all the yeah. shots. It's two shots moving, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what's heavy. Okay. You can't assault with them with heavy weapons. Yeah, uh, yeah assault is five plus. Well, that's only if you're defending. If yeah. you're a heavy weapon, you cannot move into assault. Yeah. But if you are defending... I was just wondering if it was slow fire. And it's not slow oh, fire. no. Yeah. It's a flamethrower. Yeah. Hey. They're hitting me on fives, because I'm in cover. Oh, there's two hits. There Yay. All right, what's the range on him is six? Yeah, range. Well, you don't want to... Where's the flamethrower? Right there? You probably want to shoot back as far as oh, you can. Yeah. That way you don't knock off your assault. So, yeah. Okay. Then I have... So, one, yep. two, three, four, five. Five shots. Five rifle shots. 
Yeah, good. That's why I wanted. But you at least got me pinned. Yeah. Even if it doesn't kill anything, uh, no hits. Yeah. All right. So that's on a rifle team, not the mortar. So rifle team, dead. Uh, platoon leader is good. So you kill one because it's auto firepower, right? Yeah. Yeah. But they are what you want. They are pinned. Yeah. Do you have any other shots before we go on to assault? Uh, I believe that's everything. All right. So now you move into assault. You do it one platoon at a time. So which platoon yeah, do you yeah, want so to move for? It'll be the big platoon. I think the well, number one. Yeah, the one dot. Yeah, one dot. We'll one move dot. forward. Yeah. Okay, so those are your flamethrowers. So he moves up. There was enough space for the bases. If you're seeing on camera how they're overlapping, it's just because of you know a hill. These guys are metal, not plastic. So, and uh, that's pretty much all you can fit because of these two guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, I get defensive fire, so I have my two slow firing weapons. Right, the mortar slow firing. Yep. So the mortar and the boys are. I dropped a die. Hitting you on fives, right? Because you're hitting on fours normally. Yeah. Nope. And then I have one. Two, three shots with rifles, hitting you on fives, or fours. So I hit you twice. That's still not enough to... Nope, I need away. to hit you five times. Yeah. So we're going to... It doesn't really matter, because you just get to push up anyway. Alright, so two saves. And you're good. Alright, so now you get to roll for your assaults. Okay. So these guys, I believe, are... Yep, uh, a deadly uh, assault is three plus. Okay. Alright, so I'll do the lone dude first. Okay. So three plus. Nope. nope. And then two on the... Two on the uh, boys. Okay, tank. Yeah. He's dead. And, and then, then two uh, on the infantry four. stand. He's dead. Yeah. All right. So you kill off two. You kill off the boys and the rifle team. So now I get to roll for my counterattack. My, count my guys are bulldogs, so they have a three plus counterattack. So they do. So they move up. Ah, you're finally out of your foxholes. Uh, if I survive the assault, I can go back into my foxholes. But I doubt it. There's a lot of dudes there. And then my assaults are also... I am also deadly. So oh, nice. So we are straight up bayoneting. I mean, I'm technically running these guys as Canadians, so we probably strapped on the uh, triangle bayonets like we shouldn't. <laughs> uh, so two guys first. Oh, that guy's got an assault of 4+. plus. Oh, he gets his kill. And then the platoon leader gets his kill. We kill off your platoon leader, who moves back here. Yeah. And we kill off that guy. Yeah. Stabby, stabby. Now you roll for your counterattack. Which, your HQ is within platoon range, so you do get to re-roll your counterattack. Yeah, so... I'm guessing that would be the motivation. Uh, if you don't have one, it is your motivation. Alright, so that's three plus. Alright, uh, so... First attempt. Oh. And you get on your first attempt. So now you move up. Uh, and then this guy could... Yep, work. yeah, you yeah. could... Yeah. Is that within four? Oh, that should be easily within four. Yep. He moves up. All right, so I guess. And then that guy moves up, not entering the water, and then he moves up. So now you get one, you get four assault die, so yeah. three on one guy, one on the other. All right, so well, actually, you can probably space it out so he's on the base. So yeah, I'd, I'd, two and I'd two. Definitely. Okay, so the first one, two. He's dead. And then the small stand. He's dead. dead. How many successes did you get with that? Oh, I guess you weren't... It's only with you, whoever you're in base contact with. Yeah. So he sw ironically swaps out with the mortar. So you give me a better assault rating. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> All right, then do you okay. counterattack? Do I counterattack? Yes. I will survive. Die. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best assault ever. <clears throat> counterattack. Oh, your HQ is right there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that was, that was going to be really funny. All right, so probably three on that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So you kill one platoon. You cannot occupy my foxhole. Oh. I know. That's a, that's a weird aspect of the game. All right, so now your platoon gets to consolidate. Four inches from where they're at. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see here. Does this kind of cover 
Uh, no. Oh, okay. If you were behind the trees, yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was just looking at those machine guns be like, oh, crap. Except they are pinned down. They are pinned down. Oh. I do get to re-roll because my HQ is right there. Uh, well. I guess might as well just... Uh, be aggressive. Be yeah, aggressive. I guess might as well just keep going at it. Yeah. Yeah, just... just some, something like that. Uh, I'm going to shoot them now because they're out of the open. Oh. Oh, well. Oh no, you succeeded in an assault. I mean, I do need to hit you on fours. And you have yeah. a three-up infantry save. Uh, I think that's it, then, for your assaults and yeah. shooting and all that, Jeff. Right? Yeah, you yeah, have no others. That's everything. Yeah, that's uh, all of the assaulting. All right, so for my turn, bot uh, bottom of turn five, uh, re-rolling for the pin-down marker. Or pin-down. They are unpinned. I get my reserves automatically because it's. Uh, I roll four dice. I get one auto, auto which is going to be my six pounders. I'm going to put them on the table and then I'll do my movement, which is probably not going to be a lot. And right, last four six pounders came on the table. There, it doesn't really matter because this might be the final turn of the game. Because these guys, we found out, I cannot direct fire. I cannot fire my machine guns over my gun team, so these two should have been probably swapped. So my that Vickers machine gun is going to drop artillery there. The party truck's going to survive because my 25 pounders are going to drop artillery on there. And then those guys get a free pivot to shoot machine guns at them. So we'll start off with, uh, I believe the paint was called Antique White. My Antique White squad into the, survive the platoon that just did a bunch of murder. So I get 24 shots because they are unpinned. Six. We're going to roll 12 at a time because it's hard to hold 24 dice in one hand. So, hitting you on fours. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the first hit. Those are drop dice. Uh, come on. Eight, nine. Oh, wow. Okay. I hit you nine times, so. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's surprisingly bad for how many shots I just yeah. threw at you. <clears throat> so we'll do two on each flamethrower, two on him, two on him, and then one on the back guy. All right. So, so flamethrower dude. Yep. Oh, uh, dead. dead. No. Other flamethrower dude. Oh, wow. Uh, other two dude. Oh, you Good. Missed. Uh, lead dude. Nope. Dead. So oh, he'll swap the guy. Swaps, yep. And then the last guy takes one. The last one has three? Uh, one. Oh, he had one. Okay, I thought he had three. Oh, okay, he's fine. But your that unit is now yeah. not in good spirits. So I, I wasn't expecting that unit to... I'm, I mean, I'm surprised. Well, you have a three plus. I'm, I I figured I'd have needed a lot more hits to kill. All right, so now first, uh, first sub artillery. Uh, Vickers. Uh, it's not over any terrain, so fours. Red, white, got it on the second attempt. So, uh, flamethrower, it's what, one flamethrower and three rifles? Uh, yeah. Okay, so three rifles. Of course. Flamethrower. No. <laughs> so I hit all three flamethrower teams, or rifle teams. Okay, I would, that would be terrifying to have three flamethrower teams. They all survive, but they're pinned. 25, oh, and then that one rifle team. Miss. Now the 25 pounder. Somehow, based off the rules, tank wrecks kind of short terrain, so I have to add a plus one to my range and attempt. So, ch -ch -ch -ch, my skill is three. So, fours. Oh, okay. Geez. Got it on my first attempt. Red, red, white, blue. And I hit everyone. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I, uh, six rifles. Okay. And then uh, be sure to re roll the HQ separately. Yes, I will. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> HQ flamethrowers one uh, one flamethrower hit. Oh, and he blows up. Uh, takes out everyone with him there. That was impressively bad. 
All right, they're pinned. Yep. Well, you might have a chance, if those, especially if those guys stick around. Uh, that's it. I don't have any shots. Oh, I guess, I guess those guys. Uh, did, I didn't expect to. Yeah, they're gonna fire six shots into the last two, last two uh, L sixes. Of course, I spiked those dice. Two on each. Uh, that's oh. Yeah. You get uh, fives to bail, sixes to bounce. All right, two destroys, two destroys. Okay, two destroys. Nope, double bailed, and uh, dead. So the double bailed guy has to make a motivation or remount, whatever's better. HQ's right there. Right there. Yeah. Nope. nope. Okay, so they're both destroyed. Yeah. That was certainly a weird turn. Uh, that's it for my turn. So, top of turn six. So now he has to try to get within eight inches of an objective, if he can. He might be able to. He's got his guys there. So first, uh, where do you want to start with? All right, so I guess uh, the pin for... Yep. Or the anti-aircraft, whatever you want to call it. Oh, no, they aren't, they aren't pinned. That was just me tossing stuff back to you. Oh, okay. Uh, so I guess I'll do... Oh, no, I guess I did hit them nine times, so they're yeah. pinned. All right. They're good. Now, do they stick around? It's less than three stands. Yes. Your motivation's five or four? Oh, well, let's have a better last stand. Oh, jeez. Motivation three. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to have a better last stand. Yeah, like my my boy, uh, the Universal Carriers have a last stand of five plus, even though they're motivated. Right, then these guys. Yep. Good. Uh, the second guys. HQ's right next to him. Oh, right. I probably should. And roll double ones again. Oh jeez. Uh, oh, I guess the HQ got pinned too. Oh no, I missed him. Oh, yeah. I rolled. Okay. Lo remember, I rolled lots of ones. The only thing I hit were the two flamethrower teams. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Uh, oh yeah, so. These guys unpinned, didn't they? Yes. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. The, the guys with the double roll didn't. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, we'll go into movement, because he actually has some thoughts to do about what the heck's going to happen. All right. The Italian infantry actually get within eight inches of the objective right there. But now he needs to actually try to kill or pin my artillery, which he's or my machine guns, which he's been able to pin them. He's just not been able to kill them. These guys dug a foxhole. He was able to shuffle a couple of the Z's guys, so I think it's like these two are no, not in foxholes. But they're still in They're cover. still behind, yeah. a, uh, behind a wreck, so they're in cover. The three Semoventes made a blitz, they moved up, so they're under 16, so now they get to shoot them on fives instead of sixes. And they get cover against the six pounders. Uh, do you have any other things you did special this turn? No. Uh, no. Okay. Alright, so where do you want to start with your shooting? Well, I guess might as well get the artillery. See if I could finally do something for once. Okay. Nope. nope. Yes. Okay, there we go. And nope. no. But I'm pinned. So the guy you hit. I make my saves. So I go from six shots a team to two. I better put my pin down marker there. Uh, next up, party uh, trucks. Yeah, I guess the party truck. Probably use your one party truck to actually shoot one of the guys that's closer. Right? They're all the same distance. Uh, no, because if this guy's out of eight inches, so he wouldn't be able to defensive fire. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just fire at the one right in front. Yeah. Hey, nope. hit him. Oh. Oh, you're over oh, 16. Yeah, it's over 16. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. So I guess 25 pounders again. Yep, sixes. Nope, nope. Your day started off hot, now they're... Starting to lose their juice. All right, flamethrower. Yeah, I guess the flamethrower. Into the tan squad. Yeah, I guess I'll try to pin the tan squad. All right, flamethrower. No. Um. I guess uh, I got three mm. shots into the tan squad. Okay. One hit. Yeah, one hit. Oh, three. Oh, I uh, make my save. Yeah. Do you want to try for the assault, or do you just want to try to sit there and hold out? Mm. If you make the assault there, you're gonna you're gonna trigger a bunch of defensive fire. Yeah. But if you sit there, I might unpin and do a bunch of shooting anyway. Basically, I just have to kill those two guys. Yeah. yeah. So giving me extra shots is probably a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's gonna stick around. Yep. Yeah, because those two guys. 
I would suggest not assaulting with them. If you no, had maybe, yeah. if your flamethrower yeah. had hit, or you killed at least one of them, that might have been worth it. Because these guys, oh, you could assault with the second platoon. That might be worth it. Oh no! Wait, hang on. No. Yeah, I didn't pin down a single one of them. Oh no! The, it's, a, it's only the flamethrower within four inches, so he can't even assault anyway. So, no assault. Yep, no assault. Okay. Uh, do my machine gunners unpin? If they unpin, it's basically game over. They do. Yep. So, do we want? Do you want us to roll the dice or? Uh, no. No. All right. Yep. Awkward left hand. Yeah, shake. awkward left hand shake. <laughs> so. We're not even gonna go into like a. We'll we'll start the post wrap up, post game wrap up right away. I, I'm not. I know a lot of people like playing the desert, and maybe it's just me. But when you play the desert, you have to play with a lot of tanks. And that's what my army is designed against. Anti tank. I can't do anything against mass infantry. Yeah, and I actually, I actually don't have much in the way. I I built my army based off of the togs, and. Uh, bringing an American black box support of T-25s or M-27s or whatever the hell Battlefront calls them. So I built mostly an infantry company and it's like, oh, you have to go on defense. So like even if he went on defense, you know, it's a, it would be the same thing except in reverse where I'm now pushing through open terrain. Yes, I have buildings. I actually ran to my LGS and before recording this, I picked up his other pack that he still had of hills and more scrublands. So I even I had less terrain, which in the desert you wouldn't have a lot of terrain. Oh, you have a bunch of sand hill. hills. You have, no, I mean, yeah. other than a bunch of hills, which I mean I did. You know, you could have said maybe I front loaded one side more. I always feel I'm not very confident on building tables. I will say that. I even asked, hey, after we rolled the snare, did you want to change it? Yeah, we just kind of threw things on there, just like that's good. <laughs> but again, even infantry and foxholes, even if I didn't have the scrub lands. You know, I'm art I'm doing nothing but like artillery, because really the only thing I ki I killed five tanks with mostly six pounders. I don't know. I know I'm sounding kind of negative, just because I find fight desert games super weird. Because the desert is going to be open all open terrain, but in that case, in this game, you want lots of tanks. I don't have lots of tanks. You have lots of tanks. Yeah. So maybe you should have brought your tank army. Yeah, I wonder if I would have brought my P-40 army instead. Oh, God, that would have crushed me. Because your P P-40s are basically Shermans. Yeah. With the front armor of five? Oh, no, they're basically M3 Lees. Yeah, yeah, they got front armor of five. With the anti-tank of ten. But my little uh, T-14s with five machine gun shots apiece instead of the L-6s. Yeah. Well, yeah. I also, for my British, basically what you see is what you get for my British. So I have three TOGs and seven, six, uh, eight six-pounders. And then my 25-pounders for anti-tank. Because the boys aren't going to do squat. So maybe if he had run that instead, but he wanted to run his engineer platoon, because his, in his engineer platoon is pretty sweet. The, again, the flamethrowers are awesome. Maybe if I had had a town out, I just didn't feel like digging my town stuff out. It's like, hey, let's have an open turret desert board. Yeah. I still had kind of fun. I, I, I still have fun playing the game. I just feel really weird about playing desert games, because... You know, this would be a pretty typical desert board, if you really think about it. You know, most of the scrublands and trees are around the oasis, whereas most of the hills are out in the nowhere. And then we have the dice tree in the middle. Yeah, perfect spot for <laughs> it. That was a pretty good spot for it. I did not plan for that. Yeah. So, sorry for the last bit of negativity. I hope you at least had some fun. Oh, yeah. I, I at least got a good knife fight in. Yeah, then that... that no, it doesn't matter who won, because that was the winning part of the game. was the big knife fight right there. Yeah, yeah. So, I hope viewers enjoyed, all up until me being super pathetic in this last moment. And I hope to see you guys next time. And thank you again, Bo, for playing. Oh, yep. <laughs> and, yep, stay tuned for more Flames of War, Team Yankee, Mage Knight, Shadows, and if I can ever figure out how to record it again, maybe some Battletech. I don't know, that may not show back up. Hard game to record. Anyway, rambling aside, thank you for watching. See you next time.